Listen, folks, let me, uh, <laughs> I'm going to take you into this, um, this world of idiotic ideation, all right? The grand state of Utah, William Penn Elementary School has suspended with pay one of their new teachers for posting a video about how her classroom is, quote, built for non-white students. I, I don't know if you saw this or not. I, I made a post about it. Listen, she said, for the first time in my life, I'm going to be teaching a major, majority white school, and I'm kind of interested to see how students and parents react to my classroom or if they even notice anything about it because it's built for non-white students. What I mean by that, she said, is if you look around at some of the materials I have, you'll notice that there is, like, no white kids represented in that. Um, so in essence... Everything in this teacher's classroom is designed to represent diversity, which in this day and age means alienating the shit out of any kid whose skin happens to be white and flying in the face of all reason, as most of these blue-haired re-re's decisions do. So this teacher, by the way, is um, white. <laughs> now, that'd be one thing if a teacher wanted to say something like, I've included materials that depict people of all races. See, it's bad enough that we have to pay attention to skin color at all, but at least that would be somewhat consistent with the supposed spirit of the diversity movement, but she's not doing that. She's actually openly promoting racism. Look, I, I know I'm preaching to the converted here as per our usual arrangement, but think about that for a minute. If she had come on that video and said her classroom was built to exclude literally any other skin color, she wouldn't have been suspended with pay, which is what the la which is what this lady is. She she'd have been dragged out in the streets, forced to confess her sins to an angry mob, and then they'd have burned her at the stake and roasted marshmallows over her body. And, and listen, while we're covering the well-worn ground here, don't, don't give me this word salad garbage about how it's okay to discriminate against people with white skin because you can only be racist if you're a member of a race that has power. Uh, plenty of people in plenty of different races all over the globe right freaking now have varying levels of power depending on where they are. And that's to say nothing about where the balances of power have been throughout history and where they will be in the future. It's an intellectual non-starter. It's a cop-out to get out of the discussion-free card used by weak-minded individuals like Ibram X. Kendi to keep from ever having to admit that their ideology is BS. And it is. It is bullshit. Now, my inclination is that this teacher should probably be fired. I'd love to think otherwise because I happen to believe that people can make mistakes and redeem themselves. But, you know, just setting her loose on our kids, that's a bad idea, even if she's been summarily disciplined. You don't just root out the, you know, the shit for brains thinking overnight. We got enough problems with the education system already. Listen, if you shame somebody for what they are, for parts of themselves that they can't control, like their skin color, what happens? One, you get a few dull spoons from the drawer like this lady who are willing to whack themselves on the back with a cat of nine tails and flagellate themselves and cry for the expiation of their race. But on a broader scale, you sow division and you push people further and further apart from one another, and it is absolutely a recipe for disaster. I watched that video. I never could figure out if she was a male or female, though. I think it was a female. Why are these people so confusing? <laughs> like, I knew she was white. Right. Well, she, well, like, she what could be albino. Like, what well, she's black, albino black video are you on? I mean, who are you trying to please here? It is, that is really weird. I mean... Could you imagine if you walked into like a meet the teacher for your your young child and it was a white, just like a super white teacher who had everything <laughs> black in their room and you're like. There's so many comedy sketches that I think of in a situation you mean like, if Rachel, like this. Like, Rachel Dolezal started teaching? <laughs> yeah. 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 And it's like, <laughs> never mind. I'm going to get in trouble for that. I mean, you were coming um, there and you're wearing, a, no, shit. You know, you're wearing your African garb and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, that, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, do they, are they speaking like they, are they speaking Ebonics? <laughs> like, That's that is um, <laughs> that that what I just said was Johnny shit his pants this morning. 